I believed. And when I believed, Jesus Christ entered my life through the Holy Spirit. Look at my testimonies. Huh? I can recount them piece by piece, every part of them with passion from my heart. Because it really did happen. People coming along telling you legalistic views about things like, look, you know, they want you to call Jesus Yeshua because, you know, that's the original Hebrew name. Just walk away from them. It's as simple as that. I called upon the name of Jesus and I was saved and healed from years of depression. This really happened. I didn't call them the other name. And all of these people, since I put a video up challenging them for their testimonies, where are their testimonies? They haven't got a testimony. All they've got is legalism. Oh, that was the original. Well, let me put that to bed as well now. Because God is never wrong. God wrote the New Testament. Yes, because it's the word of the Holy Spirit. He got a man to write. He got men to write. Okay, but it's the Holy Spirit who I happen to know. Who lives inside me because I am born again. He is the one who inspired the writing. It's his word. It's the word of God. And God chose the Greek language. He didn't choose anything else. He chose the Greek language to write the New Testament in. The Old Testament cannot save you because you cannot keep to all the Ten Commandments. Because even if you don't do them, you probably think of them at some stage. So therefore, you are faulted. All of us are faulted. We cannot keep the rules that God has laid down. Which is why Jesus Christ came and gave his own life. It's the New Testament. It's the New Testament of love and salvation that he brought to us. And God chose the Greek language. Not only did he choose the Greek language, he chose a Greek island on where the book of Revelation now is what I'm talking about here. To have that written on by St. John. Greek language, Greek island. The name used, Jesus. In Greek, Isus. Okay? That's Jesus. He's called Isus Christos. Jesus Christ. God chose that. So, if some jackass turns up and starts talking legalisms to you, where's your testimony? And where is it from your heart? Let's hear it. Come on. Where is it? You haven't got one? Shut up. Because you are preaching a false doctrine if you're doing that. You might believe in God and you might love God, yeah? But you're not born again. So you're talking rubbish. It is very, 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 very important that every one of you that is seeking God is born again so that you can escape what is to come. So that you will receive salvation. You will receive what Jesus Christ paid for for you personally. While he was on that cross, he had your face, your name on his mind and in his heart because he can do that because he's God. Everything that was created was created through Jesus Christ, he knew you before you even existed. You are his creation. And his name is Jesus Christ. And that is the name you will call on. And I'm telling all of you there from my heart, with love, that is the name that you call on. Don't listen to these people that are talking rubbish and giving you another name. They don't even have a testimony. They don't even have a testimony in their preaching. What are they preaching? And throwing up bits of scripture out the Old Testament and what have you. Where's their testimony? Where are the manifestations of the Holy Spirit in their life? Have they laid hands on the sick and they've got better? I have. And the testimonies are on YouTube. Not all of them, because there's more. But the gifts of the Holy Spirit have manifested. Because I am born again. And you need to be born again too. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you now, Jesus Christ is the name that you call upon. And he's the one that you believe on. And the sin of the world is unbelief in him. Jesus Christ, that is the sin. You leave that sin behind once you believe that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead on the third day by God. And you confess that with your mouth. You will be astounded. God will be there, right there with you. And you will end up in the presence of God. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Power of God. 
living within you. And you, then you can do what Jesus said. You must tell others about me. And so I'm doing that. And you will have to do it. And you will know that. I used to stop people in the street that I didn't know once I was born again. And I used to talk to them about Jesus. And every single one of them stopped and listened to me. Every one. How's that for a hit rate? And almost every single one accepted prayer from me. I would think in all the time I did that, perhaps three or four people kind of declined. But everyone else said okay. Because Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. Do you know his voice? Do you know his name? It's Jesus Christ, our Lord, God and Saviour.